Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to create this image by compositing. So we're actually going to inside the view and we'll inside the view, we'll go and create this scenery. So we'll create, um, we'll export model from DAS, working on a texture, render this image inside the view. Uh, after we'll go used in Photoshop and using NGR model to bring extra lights, working on additional add all this green effect, smoke, um, take a model, process this model and isolating. So we'll go to do this, see how we can bring out and used after to bring all together with color corrections and adjustments and create just an image compositing. So we'll go over this workflow and let's see um, if it's, you enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, let's go start working with the environment first. And right here I have a Dust Studio Pro. So let, let me go to resize this so we can see all of it. Okay, and this is free application, again, from Dust Studio. You can go to the website and uh, download it for free. I do purchase a lot of items from there and uh, I usually model before and I still modeling sometimes, but purchase items will help you save sometimes time. So if you want to create very easy backdrop or other things, it is uh, in some cases easiest and fastest way to do it. So what I'm going to do, I have this nice cyber, uh, cyber punk subway station. Okay, so right here this one does. And when I purchase this, I just look and look different angles, how's the environment. And this is, seems like actually very well set environment for what I'm going to want to do. Add some model maybe. And uh, I'm not sure which model I'm going to put it yet. And this is nice things about um, that we're going to kind of work with the backdrop, maybe look on some models we want to put it in. And I'll show you the kind of easy way to pre-render some of your backgrounds that you can use to over and over as long you keep it that simple rule intact. So right here is, is a subway. Let's go open and we have it architectural, interior. So I'm just double time click so it's open and again notice this is in a DAS so it's not poser Vu work very well with integrating with inside the poser um, but with the DAS it does not have necessarily this bridge so what are we going to do it's create uh, this environment just preloaded and uh, soon when it's done okay so right here I won't do that too much on this I'm just want to look be sure it's kind of everything preset there. We don't necessarily have a train, but that is okay. Well, we don't need train in this case. But this one is look nice. So all what it is, it's that um, kind of preset. Next, what I want to do, it's going and export. And we're going just export as OBG on this one. Okay, we'll go to file. We'll go to export. And we're already kind of selecting and this I'm just going to override the subway that I did before. This OBG, yes, let's go override it. Okay, couple things. Let's go over units, one unit that's by default. We'll leave it as default scale because I will probably change anyway. Uh, we'll just keep it same vertical X, Y positions. Z it's a depth, if you remember in view it's up, but as OBG it should be import fine. We'll have to ignore visible, use it bone wells, all is by default. Um, I don't want to collapse any of this, write normals, it's good. Write a group and surface. So this is all same, we'll go accept. It will take a little bit time until it will write this and generate all those maps for the images. Okay, so right here it's done. We can now minimize. Uh, don't close yet because we can play and try with different type of export, but OBJs should work just fine. And now we can go inside the view and using import the object. Notice this is you can use this in Infinity Extreme Complete or other versions you need to have it actually a module to allow you import or export objects. Okay, so we'll just go subway, we'll have it. Um, I don't kind of want to collapse identical materials at this point. We can also look on some import 
properties we will work on this smoothing a bit later everything seems like okay okay let's close it and click open so let's take a little bit time depending on the size of your object this is quite a bit complex so let's take um maybe a minute or so to read this object let's wait for this okay so right here our model some models you will see kind of round if they have a dome lighting this does not have it so it's good um i'm not necessarily want to put on a ground but i want to be sure we have it not um going like below ground like some of the models so let's move up a little bit and i'm going to take camera and just bring inside of this station okay you can see we already have it kind of nice texturing everything and i'm just want to kind of browse look around yeah we have it nice um views let's go again right here in the middle bring a little bit down okay so we have preview okay i'm just looking right now on the places where we can kind of positioning i think we have it this is nice tunnel also view from here so we're going to end these two nice tunnels i think if we put it camera and model somewhere around this area that will be very nice maybe it's something like this way and rotate i do like those windows Right here it can be a little bit green juice so yeah probably from this angle again this is i'm just a first positioning camera kind of to look overall model so let's work on the textures a few things that will you will notice some angles it's maybe will break kind of uh, because it does not apply smoothing so we'll go inside the edit object and first things what i want to do i want to take this moving and take down to 60 percent so sometimes when smoothing angle is too much you will have it like texture look like black angles or other things so this is first things i want to do I redo some of those movings not too much 60 will should work okay but you can play around see what work and the next i want to go right here and actually switch uh, work on all materials so we can edit all materials we'll click on that one okay and right here we can modify all of them most important for me it is for all materials it's set zero on a bump maps for some reason um when you have a little bit bump map it does not translate very well here i can go afterwards and add bump map to specific areas but for now i just want zero everything and important for me to take highlights and you notice right here the black because they sometimes don't import properly we'll go switch these highlights to normal white but i don't want too shiny so we'll go also take a dual put it all the way down and a little bit more to the none so we'll we'll have it a little bit but not as much so right here you can see we have quite a bit i want to go to the do and again it's take a little bit time because it's need to update 461 materials to all these properties um instead going one by one we'll just update all of them at the same time and we'll just go right here and this is all for doing for the global the next part is kind of very tedious if you want to do right way but we'll need to go through a single material and modify them so it's meaning we select um, our subway, we open, and right here we can see steel platform. Mostly what I'm going to do is a cycle through all of them. You can do this way, or you can just select drop down and go from here directly. But mostly what I'm looking at is for the lighting. So we're going down to, um, let's see if we can find tube, concrete, metal, lights so this is like one immersive lights so that way we want to go inside increase luminosity ambient diffuse pop up all the way so it will 
produce lights for us. Okay, and I think this is actually base light bulb right here. You can see just one single. So we almost need to go through everything isolated. Um, remember, you can always type in. So if you want it, you can just type in like 150. So it will be brighter in this case. Okay, let's go next. So we have another light. And we'll do the same things on this one. And you can see right here we have several all the slides they're going all the same um problem in many cases you just can copy and paste material to all of them okay or if you want it you can always just go select multiple materials if you can but in this case i think we just need to go a single one by one okay so i'm going to pause tutorial for now and going through every one of this this tubes immersive lights till I'm done and I'm resuming after. Okay, so I'm done. I'm going through all of this, those lights and we'll do more in a second. So right here you can see a few more of those lights when you go over. Um, I do recommend for you to kind of going over them slowly but one by one and we'll save this as VOB model. So next time when you come back, all of the slides, everything will be preset. So if you're going to use the same model, it's what I do usually. I prepare one model. It's take us some time for me to do this, but afterwards I save it I can, and I can reuse it as I want it. So in it's uh, some moments, maybe just even pop up like for your metal screen, uh, hanging screen immersive. So let's go look right here. And it's metal. So we need this one, same pop up and one thing what do we do with diffuse ambient and luminosity it's one produce that many screen uh, light but if we put a light source it will reflect and it will be brighter than other areas that's why it pop up in most in ambient so of, of course you know if we need a brighter screen let's just pop up 150 on ambient for this okay and again we'll go next metal screen so it's those two screens. We'll just pop up them up as well, lighting up. We have a large tube ceiling. Okay, and this one is metal. So in some again, the same things if you do with metal here, remember you can always add reflections and global metallic so it's a little bit look metallically so you can switch some as you're going from each individual material and that is a kind of problem with sometimes when you export as obj for example it's not necessarily work very well um okay this is a facing and right here i notice it's a blend color so we'll pop up this one as well so it will be just some image mapped to that area Let's go. It's a whole vending machine. It's a plastic part. Okay, there's a screen. We'll say pop up that one as well. Another one. So you can see you have plenty of the. And again, it's all also depend on um, if people put it right, kind of naming for that so you can see very easy okay okay right now what i'm going to do i'm going just to pause overall what i'm will doing going through all of this properties all 400 something materials identify uh some of them that doesn't have a light properties and just put diffuse ambient and luminosity to 100 percent so i'm going to pause this to do and come back after it's completed Okay, so, so one other thing, as I'm going through light, it changes sometimes other properties. One thing, like for example, I notice right here, we have large tube. And for example, if I want to do reflections and I want metallic, one thing I need to keep in mind, it does look good. However, if it's too reflective, now I need to start worried about creating reflections of my compositing. So if I put model, I need to be sure it's there. And a floor sometimes reflected does look nice and wet, but it will add additional challenge to creating some of those uh, kind of reflection of the model, which we can do that. I probably will maybe add just so we can do this, but overall just keep this in mind. 
Okay, so right here we're done with materials. Again, it's nice when you have this model, just prepare like this. Be sure to just going and save. You can always go just save as the file itself. And also when you select the model, you can go to file and going to export the object so right here. Okay, in this case, I will save you can as export as obg same things or if you want it right click and go to save object again some objects you cannot be safe if they're protected copyright and you also need to have a special import export module for um, the files work inside the view okay so example right here we'll go save this file just positioning in a preview of windows okay click okay 